I'm obsessed. I, hello everyone, happy Saturday. So today's video is going to be an empties video, basically talking all about the products that I completely used up. I'm gonna let you guys know if it's worth it or if something I would repurchase, anything like that, give you guys some quick speed reviews on it. Um, I know we usually do PR unboxings and grims and stuff, and I'm really trying to like give some variety to this channel of like different types of videos on Saturdays. And I'm not kidding, this bag that I have next to me is so full, I need to get it out. I need to just throw the stuff away. So we are doing an empties video. So everything that I talk about will be linked down below. I also use the Shop My site where I can link all the products on like one shelf. So you literally, if you hit the Shop My shelf, like the first link at the top, of like the products I'm talking about, like in the description box, it will take you to this page and it will show pictures of all the products listed there. So it's super easy. And then if there's any discount codes or anything that I have, I will have them next to the names of the products in the description box that you guys can use at checkout. Yeah, so just give you guys like a little background information there. But now make sure to give the video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go out of order in this because I do not feel like emptying everything out and having stuff spill all over my floor. So we're gonna be a little disorganized here. Okay, so first things first, Ross and I go through these like crazy. It is the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Foaming Bath Restore and Replenish. This one is a liquid. So we have, like I have a jar that I refill and you pour it into the bathtub of the Epsom salt. This is the liquid that creates like little bubbles and stuff and it makes your skin feels so soft. So we usually will take like a bath and stuff, like especially if we did like pickleball and like, cause it's really good to take an Epsom salt bath after you do something active because it gets all that lactic acid side out of you. And yeah, so we use these all the time and I love the way that it makes like the bubbles like really like puff up and then also they last for a really long time and my skin always feels so soft after I use this so this is like one of my favorites you can get these at Target you can get on Amazon I think Amazon might be the best bet because you can get it in bulk okay so I legit think I'm like Bondi Sands like ultimate number one customer I'm obsessed I love their tanners, you guys. So I think there might be more empties, maybe even underneath my sink and maybe in this bag that we might find later on. But these are the Bondi Sands Aero. It's the aerated self-tanning foam, ultra dark, quick, quick dry formula, intense hydration, coconut scent. These are my favorite. And the reason why is because the tan is very, very natural. It gives you a very bronze tan. There's other tanners that I use and I try because I get a lot sent to me and I try some out out and I just turned to orange um, these ones I have yet to find ones that will give me this perfect amount of color that is that pretty bronze to where people are like I literally had someone ask me like oh did you just come back from vacation like you look so tan I'm like it's self tanner and they're like which one are you using because it actually looks natural and that's what this one is so it's awesome ultra dark is the only way to go especially because I have very fair skin and for some reason with ultra dark, it's got that green, like more olive undertone to it. So it, my body doesn't warm it up to where it looks orange. So I always go with ultra dark. I love these. I know that they just had a sale on their website with these where you buy one, get one 50% off. They had the same thing at CVS that did that. So I don't know. I don't think it's still going on anymore, but if I, if it is, I will have it linked down below for you guys. But I kid you not, these are my favorite. Bondi Sands, please work with me because I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. It's the best tanner, hands down. I have so much shampoo and conditioner in this bag, you guys. <laughs> I have a lot. The first one that I'm going to talk about is a conditioner. This one is from Kerastase. Kerastase is, I have so many different hair brands that I am in love with and Kerastase is one of them. This is the resistance line. So I have the shampoo still that I'm using up because I got the big bag of it um, that you refill the container with, but this was the conditioner and I love this line. It is so good. It makes your hair feel awesome. It really cleans your hair and yeah, this is definitely something that I would repurchase down the line. I'm just trying to get through with what I have in my stock right now, but this is definitely one I will repurchase. If you have extensions, if you have color treated hair, if you have hair that is a little damaged from color, I would definitely check this one out. It is awesome. Okay, so next up I have a Redken product and I have been loving Redken and this is actually a really, really good kind. I've 
been through, I think maybe two or three of these before, and I'm about to go through another one. It's the Acidic Bonding Concentrate Conditioner. It's intense conditioning, fortifying, optimized for colored hair, um, which is great. So if you have colored processed hair, this is awesome for you. I love these. I use them a ton. So yeah, I literally, this is the conditioner. I think there's got to be the shampoo is probably in here too, or it's still in the shower. I run through conditioner so much faster than I do with shampoo. So this one is yet another really good conditioner that I really enjoyed and something that I would definitely repurchase later on. So this conditioner is one that I love when I need a little bit of like brightening to like bring to my blonde. This is from Bumble and Bumble. It's the BB Illuminated Blonde conditioner. I also have the shampoo, which I have not ran out yet, but it's almost out. It's in my shower. I just used it. This stuff is amazing. Oh my God. I use the shampoo and the conditioner together and it literally just brightens up my blonde so well. It doesn't turn it purple or like silvery or anything. And it does an amazing job. So I love this like blonde or this purple conditioner. This is awesome. Okay, so next up I have a Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind. It's the Kale Apple Replenishing Superfood Conditioner. So I originally had this for me. I used it. I didn't really like it. It did not work for me. I didn't, it didn't make my hair feel soft enough, you know, and I'm wondering because I use a lot of products or whatnot in my hair, but it's good because it's got no harsh sulfates, um, silicones or parabens, which is awesome. But I feel like this one actually worked best for Riley's hair. I use this one for her her and she's got very long thick hair so this one did awesome for her hair but for me I wasn't a fan of it this one is another really really good brightening shampoo you guys and if you have a hair extensions is also is awesome because it's sulfate free it is from DP hue which I really love their products and it's that collaboration that they did with Kristen Cavallari it's the gentle brightening sulfate free shampoo I have with the conditioner as well such a good product. Another one that I see really good results after using and like I feel like my blonde is much brighter with it. Okay, so next up is a product from R & Co. I purchased one myself and it's called Oblivion. It's a clarifying shampoo. I like to use a clarifying shampoo every so often to help really like clean, like, you know, clean out my scalp, get rid of all that like product style, like those styling products that I put in it. So this one does a very, very good job of that and I ran out and I'm really sad. I definitely need to go and repurchase a new clarifying shampoo because I like to have one in my rotation. Okay, so next up, it's really funny. I need to actually take this top off and go put it on the one in the shower because that one just fell and it broke the pump on it. So I can't really use it. But this is the Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. Love the stuff. I love the pump on it. It makes it super easy to get the product out and onto my loofah and it makes your body feel so good. I love Naturium products. All right, so we have some makeup wipes right here. We have the Coke and Doe ones. These are the cleansing spa waters. These are great. I love them. I just hate how small they are in a pack. Those ones are great for removing makeup. It makes my skin feel good. We have these soothing micellar cleansing wipes. I actually like these ones are okay for makeup like on my face. I actually use these types for like swatching and stuff like that in videos. So this is from Koki Cosmetics. So these are just okay. These ones suck. These are the Bliss Makeup Melt Oil Free Makeup Removing Wipes. They didn't really remove the makeup very well off of my face. Um, so I actually just ended up using them to remove swatches and videos instead. Oh my God, the amount of skincare and makeup we have in here too is insane. Next up, I have a Paula's Choice product. This is the C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. It's with a 5% vitamin C. Stuff is awesome. This was a really good moisturizer. I really liked it. It made my skin feel great and it went underneath makeup great. Like Paula's Choice, you cannot go wrong with. I'm obsessed. And then they also has a really good eye cream with it too. I ran out of another one of my Tatcha Camellia cleansing oils. This thing has a great little pump to it. It removes my makeup so well and makes my skin feel moisturized after using it. It is bomb. I highly recommend this product for removing your makeup. It is so good. All right. So we got some body butters here, you guys. So we have the Jo Malone one. It's the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. So this, this packaging, it's like heavy. It glass, it's heavy. It's all gone. It's been here for a while. It smells really good. I really like the smell of this one. This is like a body butter that I would like to do like before, like if I shower, before I'm like, you know, heading out for like a date night or a night out or anything like that. It just adds a little bit extra fragrance to you. It's great. It is, I know, I you'd have to use very small amounts because it was kind of like, it kind of, 
it takes a bit of time to rub it in. So I think that was like one thing I was kind of like, eh, it was okay with. Um, and I think you can find other body butters that can do a better, like, you know, do just as good a job and not be as expensive of this. So this is probably something I wouldn't get again, but I do like the smell of it. Like it did make you smell good, especially if you were going to be heading out for the night. So I mean, I'm just like iffy with this. It was great. It was nice, but I think you can find something just as good for cheaper. We have another body butter and this one I really, really loved. This is from Biosense. It's the Soft Citrus Squalane and Caffeine Toning Body Cream. This stuff was great, you guys. I, oh, I love this stuff because it was really easy to rub in. It didn't leave that white cast on you and you weren't like sitting there really trying to work it in. It's like you just put it on, it soaked in, and it made your skin feel good and it just was awesome. So if you're looking for one, I definitely recommend checking out the Biosense one. Next up, I have a sheet mask here. This is from Patchology. I love these. I know I have a code with Patchology. I think it's like 15% off or 20% off. It's either Madison 20 or Madison 15. It's in the description box down below for you guys, but I love Patchology's products. Their sheet masks are awesome. The eye masks are amazing. I definitely recommend checking them out. And these are great to just stick into your like little skincare fridge, have it cooling, put it on your face, and it feels amazing. By the way, I also think why I have so much product in here, and I just remembered is when I did that big clean out of makeup, you guys, I did a big makeup decluttering. I just never posted it. And I have like a lot of expired product in here. So I think that's why this is so big too. But we've got a skincare product and this is one that I really, really miss and I need to get another one of. It's the Tatcha Silk Cream Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer from Tatcha. It is so good, you guys. It makes your skin feel so silky smooth. It went beautifully underneath makeup. It was great for nighttime. Like I could just live only with this moisturizer. It was, it's just awesome. So it's definitely one that I want to get another one of. So again, it's a Tatcha Silk Cream. It's the white one. So, so good. Another Tatcha product that I used up all of is the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. This is the one that you kind of go in and you scoop in, you put on your face, it blurs everything out. This one is also really nice. And I know it only is good for six months. And I was like, oh, well this like, you know, would I be able to use all this up in six months? Like, yeah. I used this up actually like pretty quickly, which was actually good. I was actually very impressed with myself because I get, I'm trying to get better about like sticking with a product and like really like using it up. So yeah, anyways, this one's great for blurring out the pores. I really focus it on the center of my face where my pores are the largest and it does an awesome job. So I love this primer right here from Tatcha. Oh my God, you guys are gonna laugh. Okay, so I went through my bag and I tried to grab as many of these as I could. I think I got all of them. But I have an obsession with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. A huge obsession, like look at two, three, four, and a quarter. <laughs> because of this little travel guy, which I wish I could like fill back up and keep using. That would be amazing. But I've been through four of these. Oh my God. It still has like, a, you, you can see like there's not, you can't get powder out of here, but you can just see it's kind of caked to the side. But this stuff is so good. I've been using it since like 2012, 2013 time um, when I was a teacher in Irvine because my co-teacher, I've shared this story so many times, but my co-teacher Lindsay is the one that got me on to Laura Mercier back then and it's the best, you guys. It's my favorite translucent setting powder to set my concealer with, my foundation with, everything. It is absolutely awesome. So I highly recommend this powder. It lasts for a while too. I've had this bag here for a bit, but yeah. Definitely a must have and I uh, still use it every day. Oh, look it, I found another conditioner. I swear it's like only conditioner in here. I need to really use a lot more shampoos to catch up with the conditioner. This is from Redken. This is another line that I really like from Redken. It is the Extreme Length Conditioner. It's a fortifying and reinforcing um, conditioner, pH balance formula, biotin, which is great for long hair. I really enjoy this one too. It is awesome. I think I still have the shampoo in my shower, but yeah, another great product from Redken. Like I haven't used anything from Redken that I haven't liked. I really love their dry shampoo. Like they sent me this really huge dry shampoo, which will probably be in empties here like for the next time. And it's amazing. It is so good. So really loving Redken right now, you guys. But yeah, if you're looking for a good lengthening, like fortifying, 
conditioner and shampoo. Check out this one from Redken. Okay, so we got some more moisturizers for you guys, and this one is a great one from Beauty Counter. You, I, it's called the Counter Time Antioxidant Soft Cream. I really enjoyed this. It makes your skin feel so good. You know what actually is it makes your skin feel a lot like the silk cream from Tatcha. And it just makes it feel really smooth, very hydrated, silkiness, and yeah. So this is definitely another really, really good moisturizer. So if you're a lover of beauty counter, I would definitely try out the counter time. It is awesome. Another moisturizer that I actually really love, I mean like honestly, when I use up a moisturizer, I that means I really like it. Because sometimes if I don't like a moisturizer, I kind of just let it sit there and I start grabbing something else. This is one from Lancome right here. It's called the Hydra Zen. It's a gel cream, hydrating, anti-stress moisturizing cream gel this is really good for the morning time I really like this one for underneath my makeup because it's a gel I need something a little bit more moisturizing at night but this one worked out perfectly for me and I used it all up too okay so next up I have a primer from Jouer this one I really really liked it was an anti-aging moisture primer it's hydrating antioxidant treatment felt really really good and hydrating so I think this one's great if you have a combination to dry skin I think you would really really enjoy this I have a lot of foundations in here and I think it's because a lot of them are expired but this one I used all up it's kind of gross on the top this one's from Kosas it's the tinted face oil it's in the shade 01 I use this when I'm not self tan uh, it's it's gone you can see how much this guy is squeezed <laughs> but this is really good it feels great on your skin I would not recommend it for oily skin only if you have combination of dry skin because it will be too oily for you but it is very nice for the summertime okay so I have a ton of coke and dough foundation here that are gone so yeah a lot. So I love Kokundo Aqua Foundation. It is so good, but they just raised their prices on it and it's like really expensive now. And I just, I, I, I'm like trying some other stuff out. I've been like this whole like stick foundation movement right now. So I'm really enjoying those. Um, so I've kind of actually left the Kokundo stuff. I think, you know, what got me out of it was that also it took forever for my shade to come back in stock. It took like a year. So then it kind of forced me to try out other foundations and I found some that I really love and that are a little bit less expensive than this. So that's why I kind of moved on. But it's a really good foundation. It's a great everyday foundation and it's great if you have any fine lines or wrinkles. It's very, just like, it also has like skincare benefits too. So it's just really good for your skin. I just wish it was a little bit less expensive. But we've got a bunch here. Like this, these are the shades 0 to 12. Yeah, these are all 012 for when I'm not self-tanned. I use 143 when I'm self-tanned. This is like 143 right here, um, 143, and then 123 when I'm between self-tan, and this is a zero, yeah, this is 013 right here. And then this is their older packaging before they went to that newer packaging, and I think I that's why I'm tossing some of these because they're old, they're expired. They're way expired. So anyways, those are all the Coco Dough foundations that I had in here that I used up. I really loved it as you can tell, but yeah, I found some other things that I'm liking right now. Next up, I have a skin smoothing cream from Dermalogica. I used all of this one as well, and I really like this. This was a great one for underneath my makeup in the morning. I enjoyed it, and I used it all up. This is another primer that I used up that I really, really like. It's a Smashbox Original, Smashbox, I said that weird, Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I used this one all up. I really enjoyed it. It's like one of their like tried and true, like holy grail, like products with Smashbox is this primer. So it's really it's thumbs up oh my god you guys i i threw this away because i think it's like way expired it's the makeup forever matte velvet plus they don't even have they don't even make this anymore i used to use this all the time when i was with ipsy because it lasted all day long for me because i would be filming and like being at the studios all day and then going to events at the end of the day and it just helped keep my oils at bay and it was really good for my acne prone skin so i really enjoyed this but i don't think they make it anymore so sad, it was a really good product. Okay, so now we're quickly gonna go into some concealers that I have empties of. I've got a few of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I really like this concealer. It covers up really well. It goes underneath your eyes very beautifully. Um, it does a great job. So this one is awesome. I used up a bunch of them. I had like a bunch of little tiny ones and then also the full size right here. But this one is, these were great. I like these ones. I like the NARS one, but my holy grail favorite concealer 
is I actually like have three concealers that I love, but this one is number one out of all of them. This is the Hourglass Concealer. I have a ton of woo, different shades and even little ones. Like this is the cute little, like this is a great purchase to get if you have been eyeing the Hourglass Concealer and you wanna give it a go. I think I even have a 20% off code with them. It's like Madison 20 on their website. I will have that one linked great so you guys can save some money on it because it's like hourglass is not cheap. So definitely utilize that. But this is the little travel one. And then these are the full size. I use creme and oat. So I use creme when I am like using a lighter foundation. And then if I'm like really like newly self tanned, I will go in a little bit with oat and then sometimes I'll mix in a little creme, but I love to mix in. They're just great. It's hydrating, it's got great coverage. It doesn't settle into fine lines or wrinkles, doesn't crease on me. It is awesome, by far my favorite, favorite concealer. Now this goes into my second favorite concealer and this is the Laura Mercier one. So this one and I would say, yeah, this one would be number two, NARS would be number three. This is also another great concealer. I use the shade 1N. It's very hydrating, it's nice and lightweight underneath your eyes, it does good coverage, it is awesome. So if you've been eyeing this guy, I definitely recommend checking him out and trying him. All right, so we got some lip liners. The first one right here is Buxom, this is Dangerous Dolly. I was really sad when I ran out of this one. It's a really beautiful color. It's like a perfect mauve rose shade. I was so sad when I ran out because it looks so pretty if you line your lips with this and then you take like a nude lipstick and you put it on in the center. Awesome, it's so good. So I love these lip liners from Buxom. If you like, this is like a plumping lip liner too. It doesn't leave you any tingled sensation to it at all. Like honestly, I don't see it really plumping a whole lot, but um, it's a good option if the Too Faced ones are just too much for you. These ones are definitely a good other option that doesn't leave your lips feeling like super tingly or anything. And it lasts a while too, because it's a nice like thick lip liner. Okay, so next up we have from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the shade, where's your name at? Crush, Crush. This is her lip liner. It's a beautiful nude shade, you guys. It's like a really pretty like pinky nude. Um, I love this one, great for every day, great with a nude lip, love it. So good. Again, I think I have code with Kristen Dominic. Yeah, I have a code with their Dominic Cosmetics. I think it might be 20%, it might be 10, 15, or 20. I'm not sure. Again, it's all linked down below, but I know I have a code with them too. So if you've been eyeing some of their products, check that out down below. All right, so it's not an empties without a few eyebrow pencils. So I've got the Goof Proof here and also a bunch of Precisely My Brow. I like the Precisely My Brow, my, the fave. It's a, I get the shade two and a half. I like to outline my brows with it if I really wanna make sure that they're like perfect and spot on. And then I fill it in with the brow powder from Sigma, which is my favorite brow powder. Like that stuff is awesome. So I don't go through these as much anymore because I use that brow powder, but I'll use these just to help clean stuff up. Or if I have one in my purse at all times, like if I'm getting my lashes done, sometimes my brows get a little smudged and stuff from like her doing them. So I get in the car afterwards and I just fill them in and fix it real quick. So this is just a great product also just to have on hand when you're out and about. Okay, so next up, I've got a beauty blender. This is the nude one, I promise. It's not a pink one that's super dirty. And it's like, got little holes in it. I think, I can't remember if like Kinsey or someone bit this, but it was a while ago. Um, beauty blender right here. Love beauty blenders. I like it to use to like kind of like pick up any excess foundation after I put it on. I love to use it to blend out my concealer. I think it just makes everything melt into the skin. It's definitely a must have in my routine. Um, going into some uh, blush products. I was like blanking there for a second. We have some products from Ilia here. This is the Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. You can use it for different things, your lips, your cheeks, your eyes, whatever. I like it for my cheeks, to be honest, the most. And this is my favorite color right here. This is called Before Today. It is a beautiful mauve shade. I used it all up. And then I have a more coral shade, which is Temptation right here, which is also very pretty. But if you were to pick one up and to try it out, I would definitely recommend Before Today. It's a great neutral mauve shade that is perfect for everyday wear um, and they are beautiful. I really, really like these. Okay, so next up we have some concealers here. These are my favorite pot concealers, you guys. This is from Glow Skin Beauty. I use the shade Natural. I buy them on Amazon. 
They are so good. I have one in my purse at all times to do any touch-ups because it goes over like your foundation really pretty just to touch up. Um, I use it to carve out my brows. I use it to carve out my winged eyeliner. I use it to just clean stuff up and to give me a little extra coverage when I need it. It is so, so good. Like it's, I have yet to ever find a pot concealer. Well, actually I would say the NARS one is pretty close to this one. These are so good and I've been using them for years, like over 10 years. So highly, highly recommend them. And then next up is a corrector. And this is from Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown's really known for this one. It's so good. If you have dark circles or any darkness underneath your eyes, I think you would really, really enjoy this. It gives you really good coverage. I put it on first before I put on my other concealer. I think it's awesome. And the shade that I use is Light Bisque. Oh my God, you guys, we found one of these babies. <laughs> This is the Becca lipstick that is no longer around and I always talk about it is in the shade Sugar. It is gone. This is like the best nude lipstick ever. Why could Smashbox not take this one? Because they took a few Becca products but they didn't take the lipsticks, the love lipsticks. <gasps> Made me so sad. I wish they would have taken this formula. It is so, so good and Sugar is the best nude made me really sad when I finally used my last one up. I forgot we also have my little mini of the Becca Sugar one here too. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone. It's so sad. Bye. I miss you. All right, so last but not least, we have a lip balm here. This one is from Summer Fridays. It's the Lip Butter Balm. I really like this. It's very hydrating, great to just have in your bag at all times to leave your lips a really like a pretty glossy finish, hydrating finish, all that. These were so good and there it goes. But yeah, definitely recommend if you're looking for a new lip balm, give us one a go. I really liked it. All right, so that is everything in my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick speed review. Let me know what you guys would like to try out in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys and give the video a thumbs up and I will see you next weekend, which we'll do a PR unboxing for that one. And then the weekend after that, we will make sure to be doing a video of applying makeup and doing reviews on like some new products. So. That's where we'll kind of get in. I just wanted to get these ones cleared out for this weekend and to give you guys some updates on products that I've used up. But hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys and I will see you all next Saturday. Bye.